Valley. It's kicking up dust, strong winds and rain right now. We know that there's a ground stop at Sky Harbor due to a severe thunderstorm watch. We're also learning from APS and SRP tonight that thousands in South Phoenix, Sun City, Glendale and Wickenburg are without power. And this is, of course, we're dealing with those triple digit temperatures. APS telling us their outage is because of our severe weather, but both companies telling us it will be hours till that power is restored. We will get right to our crews on the road, but first we got to think send things over to meteorologist Ashley DiMartino who's tracking the latest. Ashley. Uh, yeah, the storm rolling in and uh, definitely packing a punch when it came to the winds around the valley and the blowing dust. So we have had very little rain, though. Tons of lightning that's on the screen right now. This is currently what it looks like. We have got the heaviest rain that has been falling throughout the day that has been up and around New River, but now seeing heavier rain falling in Desert Ridge up in Pinnacle Peak. We've got light showers falling in Rio Verde. All of this, though, is moving from the north and heading to the south. Also seeing some heavy rain at Litchfield Park out near Verado as well and all along the I-10 as you're heading out towards Buckeye. Let's get to the watches and warnings because we have several flash flood warnings in place. This one is going until 630. This is going to be for the Bradshaw Mountains, Crown King, Black Canyon City, Cordes Lake. So we have had about two inches of rain that has fallen in that area. We have the dust storm warning. This is going to be along uh, the 85, the south of Buckeye, backside of the Estrella Mountains that dust storm warning going until 515. We have the flash flood warning for the uh, sunflower area. We saw an inch and a half of rainfall there and also in the Tonto Basin where we have that flood advisory in place. But Yavapai, Maricopa, Gila and Pinal counties all under a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 PM as all of these storms are rolling through again. Everything is coming from the north and moving to the south right now, so we'll continue to track all of these storms throughout the rest of the newscast and I will bring you updates as we see everything developing and new things popping up. But right now we want to get things over to reporter Josh Cristianto, who is on the road this evening, checking out our current conditions we have outside. Josh, what are you seeing? Well, right here in Granada Park in central Phoenix, and we've definitely been uh, feeling the wind gust just standing here preparing for this live shot. And you can see actually over my shoulder, the dark clouds starting to roll into the metro coming from the northern area. We drove up here from Scottsdale actually, and the wind started to pick up at around 3.30 uh, for us, including those gusts and big heavy looking clouds approaching as well. The National Weather Service, as Ashley mentioned, issued a severe thunderstorm watch, scattered wind gusts of up to 75 miles per hour. Uh, but we also did see some lightning as we were up here, but uh, these local ducks as well, they seem to be enjoying uh, the weather right now. It's, they don't seem to be too bothered. They're enjoying uh, the pool and the pond here, but certainly for a lot of folks, uh, just something to be careful about, uh, especially if you're driving out on the roads right now, be careful uh, around big rigs. Uh, so far, we haven't seen any rain either, but we're going to stay out here and keep you guys updated. But for now, we're going to send it back to you in the studio.